welcome the archers to Hong the Zhou. field of play. And his opponent, Supawat Samuchayakij of Thailand. Archers in their 40s. Both Logan ranked inside the top 20. So it should be a good match. Open. Now the official lineup for this match. Tank number one. Super hot from Thailand. And tank number two. Park Hong Jo from Korea. For this match, line judge Miss Kathy. So Park Hong Jo with wins over Oyama of Japan in his quarter final, 135 to 125, beat Chinese archer Han Guifei. 139 to 132 in the semis. Samachaya Keys with a uh, 131 126 win over Indonesian Ansari in the quarters. And in the fine, the semis beat Zandi of Iran 131 to 124. So Park is just coming off a uh, Gold medal winning performance in the men's doubles. Won Hi. gold in the Asian Games as well. Silver medalist in this individual event four years ago. Worth mentioning, so he's uh, got a second opportunity to win gold here in this event. Seven. Nine. Twist to the sight after both arrows from Park. Ten. Oh, that's a wonderful comeback there from Sami Chaya Kish. Nine, maybe ten. Yeah, might have clipped that ten line. Park might need these points with uh, the tie getting hot, perhaps. Nine. Still well to recover after that opening seven. I have absolutely no statistics to back okay. this up, but I okay. am sure we see far more line calls in the individual competition. First end. <laughs> well, there's no, no doubt about Samachaya Keys. What? Oh, that one at top left there. Score 26. And Park, score 27. Looks like it's a 10, Chris. Let's grab the line. So Park uh, provisionally had a one-point lead. Looks like it might be a, a two-point lead now. Officially, Park scored 28. It's up. So 28 place, 26 one, after that five. first end. Second in now, Samachai Yaki should go first. 
Take. Another low first arrow from the Thai archer. It's There's a reason behind it. Yeah. You have two, two bad arrows at the start of your two first ends. And it's not about technique. It's not about ability. It's about focus or not understanding the situation or the pressure. Yeah. And it's a second end in a row. He's come back and shot a good second arrow. That's exactly it, isn't it? But those two loose arrows, Chris, can't, it could be very costly. Hi. Hi. Well, he's come back reasonably well again, but. Uh, the upshot of this is that Park can extend his lead to quite a healthy margin. And he does. 10 9 10 in that end. That's a great job there from the Korean. And there's a, a nice, healthy six point lead at the halfway, or rather, after two of the five ends in okay. this final. And, and the issue is to have such a big lead at this stage early in the match is the jeopardy. Good. Kind of dissipates, and you know, for most people, that can be you know, that could fall one side of the line or the other. The jeopardy dissipates, so you relax, you shoot good arrows, you maintain your score, or the jeopardy dissipates, so you stop caring. And it's the one thing that Park Hongcho cannot do is stop caring. And there's still nine arrows to go, and, and things can swing. But it's such a shame. It's such a shame for Super Watt shooting on home soil that he just isn't settled on those first arrows of each end. He's clearly got the ability to to pressure the Korean in this final. Well, he's got a mountain to climb now. 57 to 51. He's got a six-point deficit. Notice too that wind just uh, getting up a little bit now. It's uh, gusting occasionally up to around... 11 kilometers per hour, that's uh, three meters a second. So just ever increasing slightly. And again, that's incredible. You wonder if it's something to do with the arrow even, if he's shooting them in the same order. Um, that's something his coach really needs to Nine. To snap him out of. Um. Back he comes again. <laughs> Remarkable the pattern we're seeing here from the tie. Meanwhile, on the other target, Chris, it's Park just going about his work. Nine. That makes no sense. Three ends, seven <laughs> or six, <laughs> ten, then nine. I mean... What we're trying to say is, even if Einstein was on our commentary team today, not even he could explain it. Seven. And this is what I was talking about with that, that lack of focus. The one thing that Park Hongjo cannot do when the jeopardy is dissipated is to, is to stop trying to deliver his maximum. And, and number three. You know, that's not lost in the match, yeah, that, okay. that single arrow. Goal. But it has Superwatt, who is clearly struggling um, with his first shots. 
and a, you know, a little bit back into it. 424, total 81. Yep, that uh, second arrow there, the one that is more on the eight than the nine, but the rules of archery say 99% of the arrow out means 100% of the arrow was in the upper score. So there is a uh, extra point there for for Park, who's a uh, needed to uh, goes to a five-point lead. Still plenty of uh, action left to come in this match, though, with two more ends to come. Look like we could be in for a bit more drama just yet. It's 82 to 77. This man five points back from Park. Hey. Well, at least it's his best scoring arrow of the four ends of the first arrows that he's had. Nine. Just remarkable, isn't it? The second arrow has been a 10 each time. Park with the 10. Uh, it's a great arrow. Both of the archers have four 10s now. Nine. That's Nine. a good end from Park, Chris. Like he was just maybe fading a touch in that third end, but he's uh, hit the reset button nicely, the Korean. Yeah, that's seven at the end of the third end. Um, I think it really woke him up. Ah, oh, I'm still in this. I still need to, to pay attention. You see that towel going on the back. That'll be a cold towel again to combat the hot weather here in Bangkok. Okay. W1 archers can't what? regulate their own body temperature often. Coaching staff doing a Yaki. good job to help them out with that in this situation. So for what? Best arrow he's had so far to open and end an eight. Still low. What is going on there? Four well, series it's costing in. Him. Park, go yeah. to the eight, it really is costing him every uh, a chance to compete with Park, isn't it? Uh, because, you know, you give... Your opponent a six point lead on first arrows and that's exactly what's happened here it's just uh, a shame for the tie oh, he's got one more chance here Nine. Great arrow there from Parky. That is just what the doctor ordered. The first arrow deficit for Sufawa is ten points. He's only losing the match by seven. But he is losing the match. Oh, what a finish here from Park. That's three tens from his last four. 
finishing really strongly. Well, that's a strong finish too. Easily the best end there for Samu Chayakish, but Park has the match here on his arrow and his bow. Just basically needs to get this on the target face. And there is wow. double gold for Park Hongjo of Korea here at the Asian Para Championships, succeeding in the W1 doubles and now winning the individual title too and doing it in style, finishing 139, going 10 10 9 on his last end. Great stuff there from Park and Samu Chayakish. Finishing 132. He also finishing with his best end, but uh, Park's consistency, the consistency there, Chris, was the key to his win. And the turn of the tape says it all. The first arrows from Sukhawak. All wild. All low. Um, I'd, I'd forgotten we were watching a W1 match in that one, to be quite honest with you. The level was, was really good um, for much of it, particularly back half of Super What Ends, um, all of Park John Ho's, apart from that that middle that middle end with, with the seven. Um, it just could have been tighter. It, 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 it had the makings of something that, that, was, that was really nice. Um, something to work on for the home team, but fantastic finish from Park Jong-ho.